please join us at the Nashville Jazz Workshop. We're doing a wonderful three week session, three part session or three session series on one of the most remarkable uh, musicians of all time. I speak of the legendary Nat King Cole. And Nat Cole is remarkable in that he has two separate but closely interlinked careers as a pop star and a popular vocalist, as well as perhaps the most influential or one of the most influential jazz piano players of all time. Um, most people primarily know Nat as a pop star. Of course, he had more hits than anybody. And at the height of his height, which is in the mid 1950s, right before the emergence of Elvis Presley and rock and roll, Nat has more hits than anyone, even Frank Sinatra or uh, Perry Como or Patti Page. He's by far the biggest selling singer of his era. And he already has this, this parallel career in which he is the most, the most influential or one of the most influential jazz piano players ever. And if you don't believe me on that, you could have asked uh, Oscar Peterson or George Shearing or Errol Garner. They all talk about how much they were influenced by Nat and what, what a huge force he was on the entire direction of modern jazz piano. So it's gonna be three sessions in the first one, we will do a biographical uh, out, out, outline of Nat's whole life from his birth in uh, Birmingham, Alabama. No, excuse me, Montgomery. Why am I thinking Birmingham? Uh, from his birth in uh, Montgomery, Alabama, 1919, his childhood in Chicago, uh, the formation of the King Cole Trio in Los Angeles in 1937, the great years of the trio, and the transition into popular music. And um, the First, the second session will be Nat the piano player. We'll hear samples of his amazing work with such great jazz giants as Stan Getz and, and Lester Young, and of course the King Cole Trio. And the final session will be on Nat the singer, and that'll take a whole uh, look at this, this you know, incredible career that not only included the great American songbook and, and great uh, funny novelty songs like his own Straighten Up and Fly Right, but how he conquered the world of Spanish music. And later on uh, at the end of his life even uh, became a country and Western star. I mean, there's nobody that covers as much ground stylistically as Nat King Cole. So I hope you will join me at the Nashville Jazz Workshop in February, Black History Month for our three-part series on the genius of Nat King Cole. <laughs>